Well, here we are at Beecher. It's the last time by tram for Bill and me. Bill's my mate. He's been conducting 31 years and I've been driving 35, so we've both been up and down these tracks a few times. We won't be changing these again. These are some of the places where trams used to run. There aren't many towns left now where you have to do this at the end of the route. Of course, it's easy to turn a tram round. Just alter the seats and the trolley and there you are. We've often wondered how we'd feel when the time came for us to finish our last tram duty. I'd seen the notice about the changeover in the shelter previously, so I showed it to Bill. It's brief, but to the point. Well, last trip or not, must keep to time. Off we go. Carefully does it through the reverser. Two notches of power and the handbrake on keeps it nice and steady. It's a pity we didn't have more track like this. This private track is where the tram belongs. Mind you, I was travelling up to Beechip one night and met a motor car coming towards me down the track. The driver had got mixed up at Beechip Terminus and left the road. I don't know who was more scared, him or me, when we met on a bend. Not many passengers at mill houses today. I've been on duty during the summer when it seemed that all Sheffield were here. Some watching the kids having fun in the park and others watching the cricket match. Mill houses park must be one of the most popular in Sheffield. again. We're not on reserve track now, so must watch both sides of the tram. Springfield Road. This used to be the old mill houses terminus before Sheffield spread out a bit. In fact, trams ran out to here as early as 1902. The route was extended to the wagon and horses in 1926 and then up to Beechiff in 1927. This is Bannerdale Road. Quiet just now, but you should see it when the schools turn out. The 
The trams are going out with a splash, aren't they? Just look at that. It looks nice though, lit up at night. Hold tight. Sorry, track's not as good as it used to be. Here we come to High Fields. The Meadowhead route used to branch off here down to the right. That was the last but one route to be changed over in the abandonment program. Ecclesall Road Junction. You should have seen it a few years ago, especially when coming down the moor. This bank replaced the old one on the corner of Cemetery Road, and this island wasn't here then, of course. Trams used to run up Cemetery Road a long time ago. Look at these old photographs I've got. This one's a horse tram at Netheridge Terminus. And this is the pub where they kept extra horses to pull the trams up the hill. Off we go. we go past the new shops on the moor. They look really modern, don't they? They use all the latest advertising gimmicks. Look at this one. Makes you laugh, doesn't it? coming up to the Moorhead now. There used to be an inquiry office here, but it was transferred to Pond Street bus station a few years ago. Pond Street must be one of the best bus stations in the country. Town Hall. It was opened in 1897 by Queen Victoria, so it'll have seen a few changes. On the right is the only stretch of track left in Sheffield that has a passing loop. The centre track was very handy when trams ran on the Eccles Hall on forward routes. Oh, 
Bargate's not too busy today, but it gets hectic at Christmas time with all the extra shoppers about. I wonder how a one-way traffic system would work here. I've heard they've got it in mind when trams go. We have a few passengers waiting to get on here. I suppose that one of the snags with trams is having people queuing in the road. It's a bit dicey for the people queuing there with cars and buses on one side of them and trams on the other. Well, they won't have to do it much longer. Only till the buses take over. is the new market building. As you might expect, it's a lot better than the old one. Mind you, it should be, shouldn't it? The wicker looks pretty quiet today. I remember the air raid on Sheffield when it wasn't so peaceful. Let's hope we don't have that again. Nice straight piece of track here, can open her out a bit. We're coming up to Norfolk Bridge now, and soon we get to the busy part of Attercliff. Here's one of the decorated cars. It has different types of trams painted on its sides. One of them is an old steam tram. I remember hearing about the fun and games of this hill when the steam tram was first tried out. Apparently somebody didn't like the idea of progress, so to stop the steam trams climbing the hill they put grease on the track. Of course, that's before my time. We've got sand now to help us climb hills or stop quickly whenever the rails are greasy. This is Attercliffe Common. It's a busy stretch of road and right in the industrial part of Sheffield.
There's the graveyard. I suppose this old girl will soon be in there. They don't half make a mess of them when they start. This is Tinsley Depot, and the end of the line for us. Right, in we go. seeing you. The following day I reported for bus driving instruction. The driving instructor showed me the various controls in one of the special buses that are used for training. It felt strange at first having to steer the bus and operate controls with my feet. I stalled the engine at first, but after a while I got the hang of driving and then it was just a matter of practicing. Eventually I was passed off, and then I was ready to go back on the road. Bill had already been working on buses, but after I passed off we were teamed together again. Well, there's still this job to do, whether you're on buses or trams. These buses are nice to work on, and of course, I see more of the passengers than I used to do before. Maybe I'll be seeing you on the road. So, until I do, cheerio.